Hi, this is Bobak. In this video I'm going to solve the following problem for you. This problem is a problem in linear algebra on the topic of dot product of vectors in 3 space. Let me read the problem for you first. Let vector u and vector v be vectors of equal length. If u plus 2v is orthogonal to 5u minus 4v, determine the angle between u and v. That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you do the calculation correctly, the answer that you get is 60 degrees. Okay, now let me solve the problem. So, vectors u and v are of equal length. So, for simplicity of writing, let me just denote the norm of vector u with just simply u and the uh, norm of vector v simply just by writing v. Okay? Whenever I want to refer to the vector, I put the little arrow on top and if I don't put it, it means that I am talking about the norm of that particular vector. So, according to the problem, they are of the same length. So, it means that u is a number which is equal to v. On the other hand, I know that this vector u plus 2v, which is a linear combination of these two vectors, is perpendicular or is orthogonal to the vector 5u minus 4v. Yes? So, this means that the dot product between these two vectors is actually zero, yes? Now I can use distribution law to distribute this product. So it becomes u times 5u, which can be written as 5u dot product u, and then I will have a minus 4u dot v, and then I will have positive 10 v dot u, and then finally minus 8 v dot v. Yes? But we know that if I have two vectors like a and b, the definition of the dot product is the norm of the first vector, the norm of the second vector, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the vectors. And we also know that there is no difference between a dot b and b dot a. Yes? So what can I do? And of course, here, if I use this dot product for the same vector, I know that vector a dot vector a, according to this definition, it becomes norm of the first vector, which is norm of a, norm of the second vector, which is also the same, and then the cosine of the angle between the vector a with itself, which is the zero. So this cosine of 0 is 1, and these two numbers multiplied together, it becomes the norm of the vector squared. So that's also a famous property, yes? So the dot product of a vector with itself is the norm of that vector squared. So if I use these facts, then I can, sim I can simplify this expression, okay? So this is supposed to be 0, so I put this here. So this is just norm of u squared, but I told you that I will write just simply u for norm of u. So this becomes 5 u to the 2. And then because of commutativity here, these two are the same. I have 10 of them minus 4 of them. It becomes positive 6 u dot v. And then I will have minus 8 uh, norm of v squared, which is simply written as v squared. Okay, but then I can use the formula for the dot product of these two vectors here. So what I can write is that 5u squared, and then I would write this as 6u times, uh, so you don't need to put the dot, uv by u, again, I am meaning the norm of u, by v I mean the norm of v, and the cosine of the angle between them. Let us call that angle theta. 
okay? And then I will have minus 8v squared is equal to 0. Now I use this fact that u and v are the same. So wherever I see v, I replace it by u. So then it becomes 5u squared and then uh, plus 6u times v, which becomes 6u squared cosine theta, and then I will have minus 8u squared is equal to 0. Okay, so then here 5u squared minus 8u squared is negative 3u squared, but I move it to the right hand side, it becomes positive 3u squared. So I will get 6u squared cosine theta is equal to 3u squared, and if I divide both sides by uh, uh, by u, 6u squared, which I can if u is not 0, but of course if u is the 0 vector, it means that v is also the 0 vector because they are supposed to be of the same length, and then of course this becomes the 0 vector and this becomes the 0 vector. But we cannot, that, we cannot say that the zero vector is orthogonal to the zero vector. Uh, the zero vector is actually a point. So the notion of orthogonality doesn't work for uh, zero. Or impl implicitly, I should mention it in the problem that u and v are non-zero vectors. Anyway, I can divide both sides by uh, 6u squared, so I will get this divided by 6u squared and then this u squared and u squared are cancelled I will get 1 over 2 and then you know that the angle between two vectors is supposed to be an angle between 0 degrees up to 180 degrees by definition if they are drawn from the same point so the angle the only angle with that property whose cosine is 1 over 2 is 60 degrees and that is our answer. Um, below this video you will find the PDF you will find the link to the PDF file of these notes. I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video be safe and goodbye. Thank you.